Hello and welcome to the first tutorial for EdPy. In this video, we're going to look at the layout for EdPy for version 3 and the layout for EdPy for version 2. We're going to start with EdPy for version 3 and in the top left hand corner, we have the menu. In this drop down, we have options to create a new file, load an EdPy file from your device, save an EdPy file to your device, update the firmware, view the diagnostics, and read about the team behind EdPy. Staying in the top bar, we have the USB button, which brings up the USB controls, where data can be sent and received from Edison version 3. And then, continuing to the right, we have the save button, which will save the current program to your device. And then we have the version switcher, which we'll look at towards the end of this video. In the middle of the screen, we have the title for the current program. And then over to the right, we have the check code button, which will check your code for any bugs, but not download the program into Edison. And the program button, which will check your code for bugs and then download the program into Edison, provided there are no bugs. Moving down and to the left, we have a list of example programs, which you can open into the programming space by simply clicking. These programs are an easy way to download a program into your Edison and get something running. Below the example programs, we have a box to drag and drop EdPy files to load them into the workspace. The workspace itself comprises of two sections, tabs at the top to show up to five open programs, and then the text editing space where you write your code. The text editor contains a handy autofill feature that allows you to quick and easily find Edison functions and fill them into the space. Below this, we have the compiler output where any bugs and issues in code will be displayed if they are found by the compiler checker. Across to the right is the documentation, which is a list of all of the EdPy functions and all of the EdPy constants. Clicking on one of these will show you further details about the input parameters to the function, anything the function returns, give you a brief explanation, provide a couple of examples, and further tips and tricks for making your code work. And finally, in the bottom right, we have the line help. Here, if we click on a line of valid EdPy code in the workspace, it will tell you in plain English exactly what that line of code is going to do. Now we're going to look at the differences between EdPy for version 3 and EdPy for version 1 and 2. And to do that, we're going to go into the drop-down menu for the version changer and select which version do I have. Doing this brings up a pop-up which allows us to see the different versions of Edison and the identifying marks which tell you which version of Edison that you have. Selecting EdPy for version 2 will take us into that version of EdPy. EdPy for version 2 is very similar to EdPy for version 3. However, as Edison version 3 has a USB connection, EdPy for version 3 has options that EdPy for version 2 doesn't have. These changes are mostly up in our menu, where we no longer have an ability to update firmware, to update firmware in your Edison version 2, please see our main website, meetedison.com. EdPy for version 2 also does not have the USB functionality in the top menu. Apart from these differences, EdPy for version 2 and EdPy for version 3 have the same layout. And that is the layout overview for EdPy for versions 2 and for version 3 of Edison. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to check out some of our other tutorials.